Hi, I'm Andy, welcome to my channel about crypto. In today's video, I want to talk about how to secure your MetaMask, so essentially how to use your MetaMask with a Ledger hardware wallet. MetaMask is an incredibly popular software wallet, but the main downside is that, well, it's only protected by a password. With Ledger hardware wallet, of course, you can move your assets out of MetaMask, which makes it much more secure. So it's a great way of storing either a larger amounts of crypto or more valuable NFTs, or essentially anything that you want to make sure that's perfectly secure. If you enjoyed those videos, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the community tab where I ask questions when essentially how I can improve the, this channel and how I can meet the needs of my audience a bit better. So first of all, I'm assuming that you already have MetaMask installed and you are familiar with it. And also I assume that you have Ledger hardware wallet. If you are looking to buy a hardware wallet, please make sure that you buy it from the manufacturer's website, whether that's Ledger or Trezor or, or any other wallet you may want to get. Don't buy it off eBay or Amazon or any other third party website because you never have guarantee whether that device wasn't tampered with. It's well, essentially you get a hardware wallet to make sure that, that your crypto is perfectly secure. So it definitely makes sense to, to make sure that you're buying it from, from the manufacturer and, and to make sure that your crypto is 100% safe. So you need your Ledger wallet connected to your computer, either by USB-C cable or any other form of connection, it depends on the device. And you need your MetaMask open. So I have my MetaMask open here in, in the browser in a full screen view. And now I will go to this icon here and connect hardware wallet. Okay, so I actually had my Ledger live app open, so I had to close that. And now if I click on Ledger here, it should work. So it has to be plugged in, of course. I have to unlock it by entering my pin code. And then I have to make sure that I open the Ethereum app. So I click continue, it's paired, connect. Okay, so I just entered my pin. Let's try it again. And there you go, now it connected without any issues. So I select an account I want to set up and well, there are a few blank accounts. Uh, I'm just setting up a completely new wallet. But I'll go with the first one, I will unlock it. And as you can see, this is now set up in my MetaMask. So it's a fresh account, Ledger one. If I click here on this icon, you can see that there are two accounts and you can see which one is, is the hardware one, although the name also implies it. So now I can just simply transfer funds from my normal account, my standard MetaMask account, to my Ledger account. And, that I, and essentially they are, they are then protected by, by the Ledger, they are stored in the, in the hardware wallet. And of course the wallet and the pin has to be used to actually access those funds. So as you can see, it's a really straightforward process. If you want, you can also go to Ledger's website and I'll put links in the description. There is a really good write-up on how to do it, how to set it up. Uh, there's a bit of an intro, but then there is step-by-step -step guide starting here and it's like literally just, as you see, it's just like five or six steps. And also I'll put a link to this article, which is about one potential issue, which is blind signing. That's actually something that's common that's actually a common issue, regardless whether you're using Ledger or not. It's just something you have to be aware of. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely worth reading it if you're not familiar what what blind signing is. And yeah, just just to be aware of of that being potentially one vulnerability. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.